All right, Nerdlost Live coming to you from Southern California here. It's tax day, April 18, 2017, just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon in California time. I want to do a quick video on where the federal income tax goes in the U.S. <laughs> now, I've done videos uh, of this before, but I thought I'd do it again because I'm reading no news like this. Here's one. Uh, uh, taxes set record through, uh, through the first four months of 2017. Oh, one trillion eight hundred uh, eighty-four billion eight hundred and forty million. <laughs> One trillion eighty-four billion eight hundred and forty million taxes taxes uh, 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 collected just in the first four months of this year, and this month is not even over yet. Yeah, <laughs> collecting record tax revenues. Where is this money going? And why aren't the why aren't the the roads redone? Why aren't the bridges, the airports, the railways? Why aren't they redone? Why is it such a hard time? I'll tell you. I'm gonna remind people of this now. If you just go on the web and type in Karen Hudes, H U D E S. Now the Bible is clear that there is a new world order running the planet. All right, it's the Vatican. All right, I do this all the time. Tell people about the Vatican and how they run the New World Order. People have heard of the New World Order, but they don't know the New World Order is run by the Vatican. Oh, all right, now the Bible is clear on this. I, I have over 1,500 videos, and I talk about this all the time. All right, so this is Mystery Babylon. Secretly, the Vatican is running uh, the corporations, the governments, the intelligence agencies. Ooh, they're taking your uh, money, all right, your income tax, federal income tax. The income tax is taken and sent to the Jesuits. Ooh, I'm going to read you some articles. Now, take it or leave it, but I'm telling you, you better take it. Listen, this is something that it's going on uh, every year after year. And uh, this, will, this will increase. The Vatican's control will increase until Jesus comes back at the Battle of Armageddon, in which Jesus will stop it. All right, so I just wanted to uh, just set the, uh, <laughs> the topic here. And get into some of these articles. Now you can type anywhere on YouTube. Uh, here's one. Uh, there's three videos right here. If you if you type in Karen Hudes, H-U-D-E-S, whistleblower, uh, says federal income tax goes to the Jesuits, something like that, you'll see videos on YouTube pop up with Karen. All right. Here's uh, three just from 2013. All right. IRS tax dollars go to the Vatican. And uh, Bank of England. 10% is siphoned off to the Bank of England. The corrupt Rothschild New World Order family. Uh, and then 90% goes to the Jesuits. Ooh, another one. October 2nd, 2013. Karen Hudez World Bank. IRS collects your taxes and gives it to the Jesuits. Oh, ho, ho, another one. Uh, October 30th, 2013. World Bank in collusion with the Jesuits. I'm telling you. I keep telling telling people all the time. And they say, wow, no, that's not true. No, no it's true. The most corrupt corporation on the earth is the Vatican. The richest corporation on the earth is the Vatican. Oh, the corporation that runs uh, the drug cartels, the human trafficking, the pedophile rings, uh, uh, you name it, money laundering. Uh, the number one organization that does this on the planet is the Vatican. <laughs> they run the new world order. All right, so type in and watch these videos with Karen Hudez. Is she perfect? Uh, 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 last time I checked, Karen Hudez wasn't Jesus. There's only one person that ever lived on the earth that was that was perfect. Was perfect was Jesus. All right, yes, yeah, she's flawed, but very interesting stuff, which uh, already confirms what I already know. Karen Hudez isn't telling me something that I don't don't already know, but it confirms what I do know. All right. So I told you that uh, uh, this record uh, taxes set taxes uh, set record. I mean. Through the first four months of 2017, right, over just you know over one trillion, eighty-four billion dollars. Now I think uh, last year there was three point two seven trillion all year, right? The federal government is talking about the USA. The federal government collected three point two seven trillion in taxes fiscal year 2016. All right, and already this year they have collected over. A trillion in the first four months. Ooh, and we're not even we're not even uh, finished April yet. So where does this money go? Well, follow the money, honey. Show me the money. Now that's kind of interesting. Uh, 
Because people say, well, I'm not going to pay taxes. Well, you better pay taxes because they're going to throw you in jail or put a lien or garnish your wages or whatever. The Bible is clear that you should pay your taxes, even if they're cray-cray, all right? Because they, they want you in jail. They want you uh, to suffer. They're not going to suffer. You will suffer. Jesus said this over and over, Matthew 22. Uh, it's also in Mark chapter 12, uh, Luke chapter 20. So over and over, Jesus talks about paying your taxes, right? Uh, they asked Jesus, Jesus, what do you think about paying your taxes? Matthew 22. Jesus knew they were trying to trap him. Their evil motives. Verse 18. You hypocrites. Why, why are you trying to trap me? Jesus said. <laughs> Verse 19. Show me the money. Matthew 22, 19. Here, show me the coin used for the tax. They showed them the Roman coin, right? And now we're dealing with... There, they showed Jesus a Roman coin in Caesar's face. Today, we have the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican. Uh, the Roman Empire really never disappeared. It just morphed into the Vatican. The Caesars are now the popes, right? Oh, I'm just saying. So it's no, uh, uh, not really, it shouldn't be a secret to people that the Roman Empire was corrupt, and so is the new revised Roman Empire, the, the Vatican. Show me a coin. Show me the money. Verse 19. They showed him a Roman coin. He said, who's, Jesus said, whose picture? They stamped on the coin. They said, Caesar's. Well, Caesar's is the same as Pope today. Caesar, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at the book of Daniel, Daniel also says that in the last days before the return of Jesus, there will be a revised Roman Empire. Yeah, anyways, and so we're looking at that right now, which I think is kind of amazing, actually. Caesar's, they replied, that's his picture. He, Jesus said, well, give to Caesar that which belongs to Caesar. Pay the taxes. And give to God what belongs to God. Also, don't forget to pay your tithes, Jesus said, to the people that love Jesus and are doing Jesus' work on the earth. And I'm not, listen, people think, people have been taught that people were not born again Christians in the Old Testament. I say it wrong, Bob. Watch my videos on that. Anyways, okay. <laughs> so they were amazed, all right? So we're st they were talking about taxes 2,000 years ago. Today's tax day in, uh, in the USA, uh, 2017. And I wanted to remind people, listen, this is, this is, this, these are the people that run the New World Order, the Vatican. The Vatican runs the secret societies. The Vatican takes your money. doesn't care about your railroads, your bridges, your roads, your airports. <laughs> no, they use it for their black ops and their... Uh, they pay ISIS, really, around the world to screw the planet, and et cetera, et cetera. All right. <laughs> Let me read this other one here from uh, Expat Global Adventures. We can find this anywhere. It's IRS collects your taxes and gives it to the Vatican. Again, back in 2013. And this is, uh, uh, you know, 2013 stuff, but it's the same today. It's the same way it's been for hundreds and thousands of years. All right. Former World Bank attorney Karen Hudez interviews, uh, got interviewed here. And she discloses many interesting things. By following the money. They, and Jesus said, show me the money. Same thing here. All right. Notably that the IRS is being used. The IRS is being used to funnel money to the Vatican. Slash the Jesuits. The Jesuits are the mafia of the Vatican. They're the hitmen. They're the assassins. Now, don't forget, the IRS is still, you know, trying to get out of the hot water. That, that, that Obama and past presidents used the IRS to attack conservative groups. Why would the IRS be used to do that? Because the IRS is a tentacle, is, 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 a, is a vehicle used by the Vatican to screw the U.S. out of their money. Oh, yeah. The IRS is being used to funnel money to the Vatican, the Jesuits. She confirms Vatican's, that the Vatican Jesuits are in bed with the government, now owned by the banks, who promote fake terrorism, here we go, to manipulate you. And you can see her resume at uh, KarenHudez.net. All right. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole article for time's sake. I'm just going to wet your whistle here. <laughs> Uh, World Bank whistleblower Karen Hudez says this is not, uh, it's not really a fight about money. It's survival of the planet. This is for the new world order. All right, yeah. 
and she has videos and all over the internet. Yeah, and there's a lot of people trying to discredit her, but I know what I know, all right? She says, we're dealing with, uh, with whether we can continue as, uh, uh, as humanity and have an, an earth or whether we blow ourselves up. Well, the New World Order likes to depopulate the earth. We know that, right? Okay. I'm going to jump into another article to, uh, to kind of put a bull on this and then let you do your own research. Yeah, here's one from FTMDaily.com. Uh, this also, uh, actually, this came out in, uh, it looks like 2017. This is an updated article, it looks like. So I wanted to just give you a taste of different articles on the same person. All right. Uh, here's a quote from Karen. She says, what I witnessed was money going the wrong way and a cover-up when she worked at the World Bank and a failure to correct and cover, uh, uh, to correct the, co uh, and a failure to correct the cover-up no matter how high it went up the corporate ladder. What I witnessed was money going the wrong way and a cover-up and a failure to correct no matter how high I went up the corporate ladder. Karen Hudes, former World Bank senior, senior legal counsel, turned whistleblower. Whoa. Uh, what did she say here? Um, Karen, you're a former senior legal counselor at the World Bank, which is an institution that was created by the Bretton Woods Arrangement back in 1944. The World Bank's official mission is to help eradicate poverty. Yeah, ball. How about create poverty? But you claim you saw corruption. She says, it, I didn't just see it. It wasn't just me. I started working together with other whistleblowers. And this is what we are all reporting. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm not going to get into her early days, but I want to jump down here to... Uh, they, she gets into the Philippine National Bank. I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get down here to uh, the World Bank and some of these points. The World Bank, she said, is made up of 188 member, member countries. But who actually profits from the corruption and money laundering? See, the, the Vatican is the biggest money laundering organization in the world. Now, this is really interesting. If you look at Goldman Sachs, she says, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, these are all one entity. Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, Bank of America, Wells Fargo. Because their boards are all, all interlocking, she says. She says, this group is in control of the Federal Reserve System, which controls the U.S.'s money. So this group is in control of the Federal Reserve, which is not part of the government, by the way. Uh, it's, this is, all goes back to the Vatican. Okay. Uh, and she says, and of the central banks of the 58 countries that belong to the bank for international settlements, these uh, uh, central banks are not government entities. They are private entities. Can you say Vatican? Yeah. This group thinks it's above the law. Hello. And that's why she said we never truly know what's going on because this group has, has bought up control of the press and is bound and determined not to let the citizens of these countries know what is going on. That's why, that's why the book of Revelation and the Bible calls the Vatican mystery secret Babylon. The Babylonian system of evil. Yeah. The interviewer said, very interesting. Now this group of people, this cabal, how big is it? Who's involved? Uh, uh, huh. She says, what I found out actually is there are layers upon layers. That And there are secret groups that go around acting like the enforcers, enforcers or the coordinators or whatever you want to call them. Layers upon layers, she says. Secret groups, they're all connected. So I can tell you, she said, who these groups are so you can get a good picture of how, the, how these groups operate. There's something called, she says, Knights of Malta. She names that. There's others called Council on Foreign Relations. Some are called the Bilderberg Group. Some are called the Trilateral Commission. And fasten your seatbelt, she says, folks. There's something that, 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 that there's something called the Jesuits. Here we go. These people are the ones that are determining... And have mapped this all out. You know, she says, these groups are like the successors of the groups that were operating to assassinate Lincoln. And JFK. And they, and they have had a plan that they are systematically implementing now. When there's a big depression, 
These banks don't lose money. They actually gain money because they buy up the assets at the end of the depression at rock bottom prices that they cause, by the way. And she goes and talking about the 1930s. So what happened in the 1930s was engineered. And it's very easy to do. What you do is reduce the amount of money in the system and then the system crashes. They have an idea that they want to produce another crash and guess what? They get caught. By certain people. It says here, we have an idea that they want to produce another crash and guess what? But she said, we, I mean, we caught them at it. And they try to cover it up with 90, 95% with 90, certainty. That group is going to uh, exit stage left. If we continue, we'll stop them, she says. But and the Bible says that we can hinder them. Uh, but they will continue to set up the new world order until Jesus returns at the Battle of Armageddon. Yeah, I'm serious. Now, this is very interesting. Do you think uh, the proposed BRICS Bank, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, has any, anything to do with this group uh, with this group feel, feeling threatened. Now, I talk about the BRICS and the BRIC plus countries all the time, even today. She says, yes, they are threatened. The BRICS, the BRIC nation, BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Now there's the BRICS plus, including, I think, Mexico wants to join. I think, the, what do you have, Pakistan, I think it is, and, another, and other countries. Uh, it says here, uh, currently accounts for 25% of the BRICS nations, right? Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. That's why I, I always say this. It's very important that, and my prayers are that Donald Trump, U.S. president, gets closer with the BRIC nations who are actually fighting the Vatican and the New World Order right now. Yeah. She goes, uh, yeah, there's BRIC nations. They have 25% of the global trade. They have given notice to the world that the trade among themselves is no longer going to be paid for in U.S. dollars. So they're trying to stop uh, the manipulation of the Vatican through the U.S. dollar and other ways, yeah. The, the BRIC nations want to use offsets, etc., etc. They want to pay each other in gold. They don't want to be manipulated by the Vatican U.S. dollar. Do you, know, do you think the U.S. is the Vatican? No, 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 no. People mix up the, uh, the U.S., London, and the Vatican all, all, all the time. Now, the Vatican is the mother of harlots. She controls the whole, the whole thing. But she works through Washington, D.C. and London as the, as, the, as the two other main cities other than the Vatican. Yeah, called, Kind of like city-states, they're called. So anyways, the BRIC nations are really fighting them. And uh, this is what happened to Saddam Hussein, Muammar Gaddafi. This is what's happening to uh, uh, Syria, hopefully not all the way. Iran, they don't want to use the Vatican or they don't want to be manipulated by the Vatican. This is what it's all about. I say this all the time, yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to read the whole article. She basically says the BRIC economies are fighting the New World Order, all right? <laughs> so uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. So you, you put this together with tax day today, uh, and you realize, wow, you know, where does the New World Order get its money? Where, where, where does the New World Order... How do they pay ISIS? How do they uh, uh, set up the inside jobs, the false flags around the world? Well, part of it is set up by the money they get from the uh, collected by the IRS every year. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. And they send that money to the Jesuits. And the Jesuits go, yeah. And they use that to pay all their people around the world for the human trafficking, drug trafficking, money laundering, drug cartels. Uh, satanic organizations. I'm telling you, this is where the money comes from, or part of the money comes from. I'm telling. Wow. So, Daryl, this is kind of depressing. Actually, no. It's good to know the Bible is clear on this. You can't understand the Book of Revelation without understanding this, because once you understand this, the Book of Revelation comes alive. That's why so many Christians still don't understand the Book of Daniel, the Book of Revelation, the end time prophecies, is because they don't understand and do their research. What's really going on? <laughs> Daryl, do you hate the Catholics? Did I say I hate the Catholics? I hate the system. I hate the evil religions on the planet. But I love the people. And it's our job to be salt and light in the last days, to shine the light of Jesus, this revelation. The scriptures, the blood of Jesus, the Holy Spirit to the nations. So that mystery Babylon, secret Babylonian system run by the Vatican, the Jesuits, are hindered. This is the great hindrance before the next rapture.
And so how do you hinder the new world order? You get born again. You get spirit filled. You obey the scriptures. You expose them. You pray the Lord's prayer every day. Oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven every day. And they're hindered. The holy angels are loosed on the earth. Uh, God's spirit is poured upon all flesh. Uh, I'm telling you, God's resisting the evil on the earth through the prayers of, of his people, born again, spiritual people on the earth. That's why there is such warfare going on right now. You have such a warfare against Trump. Trump's trying to make the right decisions, gets bad counsels around, around him, sends missiles into Syria. Big mistake. And he, then, you know, it's going back and forth. There's wars pulling on Trump and the whole world right now. But the good news is, is that the, the forces of darkness, the New World Order, will be resisted majorly, bigly, as Trump would say, hugely, <laughs> huge, before the next rapture. When the next rapture happens, watch my videos on this on, on DarrellLawson.com. They're going to miss us, all right? The Great Tribulation, the time of hell, pro approximately 42 months of hell will hit the earth, in which the Pope and Obama, can you believe it, will get back into power? Pope and Obama spearheading, running the New World Order, the final stages of the New World Order, until Jesus returns and kicks their butts into the lake of fire. Love it. Anyways, watch my videos on it. It may sound like science fiction, but it's not. It's Bible prophecies being fulfilled. But the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be open. If, if we are lazy in these last days, we won't understand. If we don't ask, seek and knock, we're not going to understand. I try to do, that's why I do three shows a day. Daryl Lawson Live on Facebook, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. with a recap every day on top stories on YouTube as well. I have over 1,500 videos, uh, 1,506 as of today, uh, April 18, 2017, and they're going into 215, 220 countries every single day. I just looked at the, at the analytics today, and there's only 196 countries, but there's also uh, territories, not, not, not considered countries. And I, I look today, 215. Uh, countries and territories my videos are going into every single day love it it's a great time to be alive the technology is getting the information out we need to spread the information be hearers and doers of the word jesus said uh render to caesar <laughs> give to caesar that what which, which belongs to caesar which is the basically we're talking about the irs we're talking about the federal reserve we're talking about the jesuits it goes to that but give to God what belongs to him. So we see this battle that was going on 2,000 years ago, and it's the same battle today. Be wise as serpents, the Bible says, and harmless as doves. All right, we have to be a wise. We have to grow in discernment, grow in wisdom, grow in understanding. Let people understand what's really going on. What's Who's who's behind the secret societies? Who's behind Wells Fargo? Who's behind City, Citibank, Citigroup? Who's behind Goldman Sachs? Who's running the false flag events around the world? Now we see... I can see clearly now the deception is gone. Yeah, so anyways, I want to do a quick video on that since it's tax day here in the U.S. And all that money is going to the Jesuits. Aren't you happy? <laughs> well, once you find out what's going on, uh, Jesus really rules. They're stealing the money, but Jesus is coming back very shortly to put everything back in order. His enemies underneath his feet. Love it. All right, so Daryl Lawson Live signing off for today. Um, don't forget to go to my website, DarylLawson.com. Check out all my 1,506 videos as of today. And don't forget, I have almost 300 new other videos and fresh videos as well on Facebook Live, on my Facebook pages. All right, go to DarylLawson.com, Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, YouTube channel, all there and more. DarylLawson.com. All right, signing off. See you online, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. I love you. Bye for now.